We got Controversy, one of the best sports there is to play, and uh, just going on an adventure with your friends. Find out what that means. All right, hey guys, and welcome to Ben's Basement. I'll be your host, Ben Sleva, for this episode. And this first segment is where we pick out one of these records. So I'm gonna generate a random number from one to 136. Whatever number that falls on is a record that we will learn about. Sounds good? All right, random number generations, and pot up, boop, 42. Looking at record 42 today. Let's check it out. See you up there. What's up? 10, 20, 21, 42. All right. This record for this week is, funny enough, it's a comedy record, and it's Bill Cosby, all right? I will, I have a very strict rule on this show where I judge the artist's work, not the artist. Keep that in mind, please. Um, so I will be judging Bill Cosby 200 Miles an Hour comedy album. Let's check it out. Take camera two. 200 Mile an Hour is a sixth stand-up comedy album by Bill Cosby and his ninth album overall. It was recorded live in Harris, Lake Tahoe, Nevada, and was released by Warner Brothers Records. Side one is a series of four routines, Mothers and Fathers, The Wife, The Grandfather, Dogs, and Cats. It kind of uh, breaks down a comedy that is involved in a family unit. And side two, which is a signature track, 200 Miles an Hour. The title track, 200 Miles an Hour, is based on true life events where Cosby got a Shelby Super Snake SCX 3303. He got one of the two cars that were built. The bit itself outlines Cosby's process of returning the car moments after the test drive. It's hard to explain a stand-up routine, so just check it out if you want. Now, I did briefly mention in the intro of this that I'm judging the art, not the artist. Though Bill Cosby ultimately ended up a horrible person, taking the jokes as they are in the history of stand-up when they happened in that era, <laughs> in my opinion, it's an okay joke to find funny. That's it. Hey guys, welcome to the video game section. This is where I become a kid again and play a 16-bit game from my childhood. How it works, I'll spin these two wheels a total of three times to pick the system and then the game that we're going to play. Easy enough? All right, let's choose a system. It's a sloppy thing. Super Nintendo, uh, what letter are we going to look for to play in the Super Nintendo? D, Super Nintendo, D. Super Nintendo D10. Super Nintendo D10, let's figure out what game that is. Right over there. Dig and Spike Volleyball, known as Volleyball Twin in Japan, is a volleyball video game developed by Toes. The player can choose either two variations, men's indoor volleyball or women's beach volleyball. Men's indoor volleyball, where you pick from eight teams, most likely chosen from the 1992 Olympic Games, and beach volleyball teams, since there wasn't a women's volleyball team at the time, these are just generic characters. Now the gameplay is kind of actually involved. There's a decent amount of moves you can use during the game, and you can vary how hard you can hit the ball and choose from four different types of serves, and kind of move through the field freely. The team is fairly easy to manipulate as well. The, the only downside was the reaction time that you need between the play and like returning the ball is kind of small and the camera focuses on who's ever serving. So if you're playing defense, it's really hard to kind of get yourself over there quick enough. Full disclaimer, I am a champion pickup volleyball game athlete. So I was a bit biased when it comes to uh, sports games, but this game, top tier. <laughs> I, I don't know, I would give it a 72 out of 100. It was an okay game, it really was okay. Nothing? Nothing, tra la la. Jim Henson's Opus, The Labyrinth. It's hard for me to break down a movie as iconic as this one. I mean, I grew up with it. I remember seeing it as a small child, maybe like four or five, and then remembering portions of it until I was old enough to describe it to my folks. And then they rented it again, and I remember seeing it over and over again after that. In fact, the two of us, me and my sister, made our own rendition on one of those old VHS camcorders. And we just played every part and dressed up as them, and it was, you know, it would make anyone jealous. The movie Labyrinth is about a girl, Sarah, who is forced to babysit her baby brother, Toby. Sarah would rather LARP in the park and rehearse lines from her favorite fantasy novel. When she's finally fed up with her annoying baby brother, she happens to say the exact words that summon the Goblin King. Now, he grants her her wish and takes her baby brother away to his castle in another realm at the center of a labyrinth. Sarah suddenly becomes aware of the gravity of the situation and asks that her brother be returned. Jared, the Goblin King, played by none other than David Bowie, settles the deal with her that as long as she is able to solve his labyrinth and the 13 hours he allots to her and recover her brother from its center that she may have him back and everything will be returned to how it was. Sarah takes the challenge and is thrown into a world of incredible wonder. She meets a few companions along the way that help her solve her problems and falls victim to probably every single trap that there is in this maze. If you haven't seen this movie, please, for the love of God, see it. It is a masterpiece. Honestly, I don't want to say too much about it. Either you've seen it or you haven't. My choice is to either beat a dead horse or not spoil it. I'm going to take the latter. 
It stars David Bowie, as I said earlier, and he is phenomenal. It also stars a young Jennifer Connelly, who was probably the best choice for the role, in my opinion. Baby Toby plays himself, Toby Froud, who was actually in a few films, credited to his name after the fact. Normally babies are just babies and that's it, but he's been in a few things. Look him up. Now, as a call to action, anybody who's seen Labyrinth and made it this far, please write your favorite quote from the movie in the comments. All right? Cool. All right, guys, well, that's the episode. Uh, okay, cool. So if you want to see another episode, click here. If you want to, I don't know, something that's suggested for you, why don't you click here, okay? What do you think, Gus? Say, see you next week. Can you say, see you next week? Say, bye. Bye. Aw. What the? See you next week. Bye-bye.